Brownville Concert Series is winding down a very successful 23rd season. The Concert Series began in 1990 and because of sponsorships and donations, the series has been able to bring in some of the biggest names in music to this tiny town in southeast Nebraska. Our Lance Schwartz joins us now for more on this unique musical venue. Lance? Thanks guys. It is frankly a little hard to believe, but it's true. There is an undeniable, indescribable link between Broadway and Brownville. To think that many of New York City's finest performers truly look forward to visiting a small village like Brownville is frankly quite surprising and impressive, both at the same time. Founded along the banks of the mighty Missouri River in 1854, Brownville bills itself as Nebraska's oldest town. With a population of 132 people, the town doubles in size when the concert hall is filled up. And it's filled up a lot because of top-notch performers like Christine Andreas. She's performed in front of more than 10 million people on Broadway stages. But last weekend, she finally got to make her long-awaited debut in Brownville. Christine and her composer husband Marty Silvestri will tell you that the legend of Brownville looms large in the Big Apple. You. I mentioned to several people I'm going out to Brownville, and they don't tell you why it's going to be fabulous. They just say it's going to be fabulous. New York performers couldn't stop bragging on Brownville, but. It was like this mystery as to why we had to be in Nebraska and particularly in Brownville. And, and I can't even now exactly verbalize why it's so fantastic exactly, but it is. <laughs> I remember when Part of it, I suppose, is the stillness and the peacefulness as opposed to all the velocity when you live in New York and, and there's so much bombardment. I moved up here 16 years ago and I could not believe my eyes or my ears. Hi. Jan Wright moved here from Houston and eventually became a member of the executive committee of the Brownville Concert Series. It's a small, intimate atmosphere. You are up close and personal with the music, with the performer. You get to meet and talk to them after the performance. There is no place else that I know of in this country where you can do that. It all has a quaint ambiance that really resonates for newly anointed Brownville believers like this couple from Kansas City. I just can't imagine bringing a person like that with that, such straight talent to this little town, and this little place. I've never been here before, but I think it's worth a trip. My gosh, it's great. <laughs> it is great indeed. And coming up in mid-December, the star-studded Christmas gala will put an exclamation point on the end of the Brownville Concert Series 23rd season. The finale weekend will include four shows beginning on December 13th. It's pretty exciting stuff. That collaboration will include four of the greats of the American Broadway and Cabaret stage. You won't want to miss it. That's got to be such an interesting dynamic going from Broadway to such a small town of people. I, like, I think it really shows what a small town has to offer. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else, really. Yeah, she says sometimes she loses herself on a Broadway stage. But in Brownville, she's singing to you and you. It's beautiful. It's really special. Thank you so much, Lance. We'll update your forecast next.